Okay, you guys, so we're going to do a little bit of practice uh, with some of our data visualization uh, to help us out with lab number one. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to start off with is loading in some data, and I've posted this. This is our World War II planes, but it's extended. So this is under section two. Okay. And let me go, I've got to go find it now. Okay, let's open it up. Let's take a look at the data set. And I added in just one other type, and it is the type of planes. So we've got a fighter, transport, or bomber. We have the airplane identification number. We've got the wing. How many shots was taken in the wing, how many in the engine, how many in the fuselage, and how many in the tail. All right, so this is data that, that I all made up. And so let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing that we should do, let's start off with dealing with some numerical data because there's some specific, um, some specific pieces that I want to show. So first things first, let's go to statistics. Let's go to summaries. Let's go to numerical summaries. And let's do engine, because that's what I'm really interested in. How many shots these planes took the engine? Let's go to statistics. Uh, mean is good, standard deviation, interquartile range. We can keep our quantiles. And then I also want this bend frequency counts. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. Okay, so it's got this, and I come to the terminal, and I can see the actual results uh, that have popped up. Okay. So I have a problem though, and here's the problem. For whatever reason, our commander thinks that it should put in the planes with zero and the planes with one bullet hole in the engine in the same spot, and that is not what we want. So over here on this left-hand side, um, you can really ignore the first number, and we want to really focus on the second. The second number tells us actually the bend um, Oh, the the bin label for each of these. So this is the shot once, shot twice, shot three times, shot four times. Um, this is just how R has decided to put it together. But regardless, we know that there are plenty of planes that came back with no holes in the engine. So we've got to figure out, okay, how can we fix this? And we know that those zeros exist because let's go to our data set, let's view it, and we can see there's a zero, there's a zero, we go down, there's some more zeros. We know that there are zeros in the data set. Okay, so if there are zeros, what can we do? Well, let's go back and look at our code. So we're gonna work with this guy, this bend counts. This is the one that we need to fix. At the very end, and I showed this in one class, but everybody's gonna to need to know this. If we hit comma and then do breaks equals, and we have to go less than zero for those zeros to show up. So let's go, negative one colon zero or eight so that's kind of our um, our maximum value let's highlight over and then we're going to submit that line and now we have these counts that we, there were 35 planes with zero there were 50 with one all the way down to the bottom so if there are zeros in your data set and you really do want to see those zeros you may have to include this breaks equals negative one then all the way to your maximum value okay so let's look at the histogram then as well with this uh, let's go to graphs histogram we'll do the engine again and we'll go to options you can either scale the number of bins we'll play with the bin size here in a second and we can label this as shots to engine um, of sample. And we can click OK. And we can see that we have this frequency chart. OK, we have the same problem, though. It piled all of those zeros in. We want to get those out. Nice thing is, is that it's the exact same thing. So check it out. We've got this with World War II planes, the histogram. We come over and it's breaks and it has this um, this argument in here called Sturges. Well, let's just go up. Let's copy what we did before. Copy that and let's paste it in there. 
Okay, let's highlight that line again, the whole width, the histogram, and let's hit submit. And here we broke it up. So now we've got the planes that have zero, we have the planes that have one, two, etc., etc. So we can see the number of shots taken through the engine on these planes that came back. And that is what we want, which is really nice. So now we know how to do the, the frequency table, and I did previous examples on the frequency table, how we can extract this and make a complete frequency table with the um, cumulative frequency and the cumulative relative frequency in previous videos. And now we know how we can uh, play with this so that we can get, so that we can actually see those zero counts and how we can get a histogram to show those zero counts as well. Hope that helps out.